Now, all these celestial beings are vibrating and they are sending off their energy throughout the universe. And we are all receiving these energy vibrations from the various planets and stars. Now, these planets and stars by themselves are not God. They are not God. Although that in all of our history, throughout history, I must admit that mankind has worshipped these celestial bodies from all cultures. We have all somehow, but they are not God. They are only the channels or conduit through which God Almighty channels his energy throughout the universe. God Almighty channels his energy throughout the universe through these various planets and stars. So based on the various planets and stars a person comes under through the name or date of birth, you come under the vibration energy of any of them. You are watching the biggest, the largest, the highest, the greatest, the tallest, and the toughest African spiritual platform. I'm always Queen Hadasha. Call me Empress Makida. I am Labraska, the Sun Goddess. Call me the Spear of Destiny. I am the World Star Number Eight. I am the True Bloodline of the Anunnaki. They are my brothers. They didn't make me. They are your brothers too. I welcome you to another great episode. I am Nansu So Aye Dafufro. Yes, any uncle pond in a new mucasa, and on a new muasem, and a bob ye be a woe, yes, yes, one quetri a semino, and ye be biara, or ye, yet today we are going to talk about the date of bed, new din in the eke can. They be a yet from different angles. I think today we are going to hear from another level and another angle. Me man crown crabia aquaba. I mummy ma ye guest to know aquaba mra platform no so, and sunny I heard ye that a puno no so muasem aka. Papa, we welcome you to Revelations. Thank you. Great. It's your first time on this biggest platform. So please kindly introduce yourself to the public. Let's know who you are. Greet them. If there are any loved ones you want to say hello to, it's also permitted. Well, uh, I greet all the viewers of Revelations. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an honor for me to be on this platform. My name is Adam Sahija, but I'm mostly referred to as uh, Africanus. Okay, we welcome you. Thank you. So, um, Adam Ahija, Africanus, who are you? Well, among other things, I'm an astro numerologist. And in basically, astro numerology is the study astro, which many people are familiar with, means uh, it's from the Greek origin star was a logos or logi means the study. So astrology, basically the study of the heavens, the study uh, the stars. Whilst numerology is the, is the study of numbers and the impact of numbers on life as we have it on this planet. Okay, so tell us your source. You are astrologists. We, we understand that. Where did you get it from? Study, uh, visions, you read it in school. Where, tell us your source. No, the source is basically extensive studies. Extensive study. Extensive studies of the ancient sciences. Okay, so self-study, not school. No. Okay, that's all right. We want to know the source so we know where we are going. So, um, astrology, what is the importance of astrology? Well, for thousands of years, mankind has always looked to the heavens for direction. Because innately, we all believe say, we are linked to the heavens above. You hear people say things like, oh, one day me too, my star will shine. One day me too. So even though we are here, we somehow believe that we are linked to the heavens above. So by studying the heavens, because as it is above, so is it below. The heavens control the, the down, the, 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 the earth. So in order to understand what is happening on earth, you need to look up. And this has been in every culture all over the world. Mankind always look up to the heavens. Look at all the scriptures, whether from the Bible, the Quran, the, the Vedas, all, all scriptures. There's always an interlink between the earth Give and the us heavens. some evidences from the Bible, the Quran, and then the Bhagavad Gita and what you are saying. Give us a little, little evidences from these places like you mentioned 
Well, you don't need to go far. If you mention, if you look at the Bible, it says in the beginning God created. He created the heavens and the earth. And then he goes on to talk about the functions. He talk about that he created two, I think the third day or so, the third or fourth day. He created two lights. One to rule over the day and one to rule over the night, which we call the sun and then the moon. So these celestial bodies have always been in the, uh, they've all been talked about. If you study the Quran, God Almighty says in the Quran, that in the creations of the heavens and the earth, there are signs from those who think. In the creations of the heavens and the earth, there are signs for those who think. So if you want to see the, the signature of the creator, just look at the, his creation. And now when you also look at the this uh, was in the Bhagavad Gita, in the Gita, the stories of Krishna, and then it's even a Hindu Hindu culture deals more with the 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 celestial beings, and even accord them certain qualities as being uh, demigods. They are not full god, but in between God and the man, they are demigods. Each of the celestial uh, beings, be it the sun, the moon, the stars, all of them per all the cultures, especially in Hindu culture, they are ascribed certain uh, characteristics and qualities. You see, um, this world, okay, it came to being before we got to know about the stars and the, the moons and the, uh, the rest. If not because this universe or this world existed, we wouldn't get all these things from it to give them names and also attributes um, up and downs to it. Do you agree with me? I agree with you. Okay, so meaning that before this world, we were, uh, this, all these things were not in existence before the world came. So God used, let's say, sounds and vibrations to create this universe because he said, let there be light, the word, the sound. That is what brought this um, um, universe or this world to be before you people started reading the stars that came to being and all that so tell me how important is it is for one to study the 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 stars and the the air and the heavens how important is this well it's very very important because the various stars and planets they all influence life as we know it on earth for example there are certain basic things. For example, you ask yourself, why are there seven days in the week? To date, nobody has come out to say he has discovered an eighth day. In all cultures, all religions, even within our local settings, we all mention seven days of the week. Why, why seven? What is the significance? What is the significance? The significance is because the ancients, it didn't start today. All ancient cultures from Babylon to, to Persia to, to uh, even Arabia to China and India, all these ancient cultures got to realize that there are seven planetary bodies, celestial bodies, whose impact, uh, whose impact affect life on Earth directly. Which is? They realize that what we call something the solar system which we are, the earth is part of the solar system. The word soul from Greek means sun, that which is bright. So the name itself has been given to the sun. In our solar system, the sun is the biggest celestial body. So since all the planets revolve around the sun, now since all the planets revolve around the sun, and it being the biggest, the ancient believe that the day should start or the week you start with the sun because it is number one. So we have the sun, which is number one. Then the closest heavenly body to the earth, which is the moon, number two. Then they realize that there's another planet, which is called Mars. The, the Romans call it Mars, which is number three. Then Mercury, then Jupiter, Venus, and then Saturn. These seven celestial bodies impart life directly. What I mean by impart life is that 
everything in the universe is vibrating. And when you are vibrating, you are giving out or emitting energy or sound. You are, so you are emitting energy. You and I, we are all vibrating. But the fact of the matter is that the human body is said that when you are stable, your rate of vibration becomes minimal. If you want to, just open your hand and look at your hand. Look at your hand intently and you realize that your hand is not as stable as you think it is. It is shaking. You are vibrating. Everything in the universe vibrates. When the human body is undergoes trauma, any form of trauma, the rate of vibration increases. For example, you notice when somebody is sick, maybe high fever or something, you see that the person will be converting, shaking. Because of the trauma, the rate of vibration has increased. Also, when you are frightened, you see something which frightens you or uh, was and someone say something, mm. your rate of vibration increases. It doesn't mean that you are not vibrating. We all, everything is vibrating. But because of the trauma, the rate has increased. Now, all these celestial beings are vibrating and they are sending off their energy throughout the universe. And we are all receiving these energy vibrations from the various planets and stars. Now, these planets and stars by themselves are not God. They are not God. Although that in all over history, throughout history, I must admit that mankind has worshipped these celestial bodies from all cultures. We have all somehow, but they are not God. They are only the channels or conduit through which God Almighty channels his energy throughout the universe. God Almighty channels his energy throughout the universe through these various planets and stars. So based on the various planets and stars a person comes under through the name or date of birth, you come under the vibration energy of any of them. Okay, right now you, you keep on saying Lord God, Lord God, Ma uh, make me understand. Do you believe in anything? Are you in any fraternity, any religious sect of group? Well, <laughs> well, I don't, I don't actually believe, uh, belong to any fraternity person. You don't belong to any fraternity. You are not a Muslim, you are not a Christian, nothing. Well, I'm a believer in, and there's truth in all the religions. I'm not asking that. I want to know if you belong to any of these sects. I'm not saying there is some truth or lies. I'm not even going there. Okay. I'm asking a very simple question. Do you belong to any of these groups? Yes. Wait. When it comes to religious, in, in terms of religion, yes. I'm a Muslim. You are a Muslim? Yeah. So when you keep saying, Lord God, Lord God, who are you referring to? Well, we give the Creator all kinds of labels. In English, you say it's God. When you are, the Arab will say it's Allah. The Hebrew will say Elah or Eli or Yahweh. In our local settings, we all have names for the Creator. Such but, as? Well, in, in Chi, we say Uchedian mm -hmm. And in Ga, we say Nyumo. Mm -hmm. So, irrespective of the label you give to the Creator, we all, there's an established fact that there is a Creator. It's just that we give labels to, to that. Like, that's what I'm asking. So, I'm asking your Lord God. Mm -hmm. So, as a Muslim, so when you refer to a Lord God, you are referring to Allah. Am I correct? I'm referring to your yeah, God Almighty. This simple God, yeah. question. I just want to. <laughs> 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 when you people come here, yeah. I'm not man to treat me like that. Like, what you see me, whatever I preach is my understanding and opinion. Yeah. But I respect everybody's understanding and opinion. So, so. But there is a problem. No, and it's a woman now, so to train you, petty, near such a how I would treat you. No, to me, try. When I am now, I had to say, me, Nini Pano. But I don't actually me me a critical thinker and open-minded person, so me condemn me nothing. But I also have my stand and my belief. Mm -hmm. You get me. Mm -hmm. So what I preach is not what I'm looking for for here. We are picking knowledge, and so we are able to get there together. So if I ask if you believe in your Lord God, it's not about a lie. Oh, no, no. This uh, because that's where you started from. The reason I'm coming all the way here. Okay, so tell me. This a star that we need to read, or heavens that we need to read and understand all these things. If a Muslim should be watching you right now, 
would the Muslim say that, oh, this is part of us, or this is not part of us? Well, if that Muslim really knows much about the Quran, has read the 114 chapters of the series of the Quran, the person will know that, yes, the impact of the celestial, uh, what's the name? Celestial Reading course. of the stars and all that is part of it. No, the, the Quran makes extensively, makes extensive mention of these, uh, these uh, celestial beings in the, the creation of them. Because God Almighty says that he created the, this, was an info, the, the moon in particular, or the moon, for, for us to be able to measure time. All over the world, we all look at, we all say month. Month, what, does, what is a month? In three, you say bosome. That's a month, right? And it's what? It's the moon. During the Islamic calendar, it's a lunar calendar. It's based on the, on the movement of the moon. So the question is, what, what's so much important? What's the importance of the moon? At least ask yourself, what's the importance of the moon? Is it just there we see it for decoration? Is it decorating the skies? No. It should have an impact, or it has an impact. For example, the word month is from the word moon. Now, the moon controls so many things, including the emotional aspect of mankind. Emotions is being controlled by the moon. It rules over water. Go to the water bodies, the sea in particular, on a full moon night. You notice that the tidal waves tend to be very, very rough, as if th there's a gravitational force between the moon and the, the ocean. The moon also has a special relationship with a woman's body, in the sense that even if a woman forgets herself, the moon cycle is 28 days. So even if a woman forgets herself, when it's 28 days, the moon reminds you, so long as you are living on this planet, you are under the moon, or there's a connection between the earth and the moon. Every 28 days, the moon will remind your body that all unfertilized ovaries should be shed. So even if you forget which yourself. Is, which is what? Which is what? We we'll see every woman. <laughs> every matured woman. <laughs> every matured woman. Yeah, so I want to understand. Which is menstruation. Which is, so those who don't menstruate anymore. What reminds them? No, I'm saying the cycle. Mature women. Uh -huh. When I say mature women, I'm talking about women who have reached the age of childbearing. That's what I'm saying, that the, the moon uh, um, uh, reminds them. Yes. So I'm asking you, you said it's the menstruation. So yeah. those who don't menstruate anymore and they are women, it means the moon does not remind them of anything. You know, menstru uh, what's the name? The menopausal period. Uh -huh. Usually, it, it, everybody has the, the time, usually. It's mm -hmm. not fixed that maybe what 50 or mm -hmm. When there's a time for you to stop the ability to, be, uh, to give birth, it shuts. So it doesn't remind them anymore? No, I'm talking about women who are fertile enough to, 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 to produce. I understand you perfectly. So I'm asking, the moon doesn't remind the women who don't we basically break their hands anymore. It's a period. Once you get to the, the period where you are not supposed to, uh -huh. to, to the moon ovulate. doesn't remind you anymore. No. Okay. You are watching the biggest and the largest. So we are going to talk about his topic. I was just bonding with him with randoms as usual. So we are going to do you people remember that Alice came here to talk about this astrology and it was all over social media that he is not a, a good Muslim, the reason he's reading stars and palms. Do you people remember? Reading of stars and reading of palm, what's the difference? That's palmish, palmish trees. Uh -huh. the, the fact of the matter is that the, the body in its, on its own, the human body cannot keep secrets. The human body cannot keep secrets. No matter what, somehow, that it will have to be revealed in one way or the other. And God Almighty finds ways and means of uh, revealing certain things. Actually, for people who are, who have, uh, or who want to at attain some level of uh, knowledge, if you look at the Bible, the Bible tells us that when Jesus was born, wise men from the East came 
they said they've seen a star and paired their permutation, a great child is going to be born in the house of Israel or among the Israelites. They said they've seen a star. What did they see? You get what I'm saying? What did they see? So basically, the, uh, what's the name? these God reveals things. The word wise men, which is translated Magi from Persia, means wise men, refers to a group of men who are learned in the ancient sciences, the ability to decode the science in the heavens, to be able to make predictions as to this or that will happen. So, like I said, uh, God reveals things. So I want to, I just, the question was, what's the, the difference between the palmistry and reading of the stars? The difference is what I asked for. Well, first of all, um, I'm not, I don't do You don't do palmistry. I don't do palmistry. So you have no knowledge about it. You don't know whether they are the same or they are also, it's also a different something. You but don't I know, know. I know it is, there's quite clear difference between palmistry and then astrology. Okay, that's, that's what I'm asking. You are watching the biggest and the largest. What is his topic? People are asking. What is your date of birth and name saying about you? This is what we are going to discuss today. The topic, no, and no, no. And see, this name and date of birth thing, how important it is for a person to know. Do you get it? Yeah. Well, it's very, very important. Well, the question you ask yourself is, why are you here? Why are you attracted to the things you are attracted to? Why do you like certain things and hate certain things? Why do you behave in a particular way? You've noticed that all of us are not the same. All of us behave or gravitate towards different things. For as, and every day equally is different. Today is different from yesterday, and then will also be different from tomorrow. No two days are equal. The reason why no two days are equal is that every day, the earth has a unique energy field around it. Every day, has a, there's a unique energy field around the earth. So based on the energy field around the earth, at the time you took birth or we took birth, we are marked. For example, all children who are going to enter into the earth's dimension today, by all over the world, by virtue of the fact that they were born today, they will come with certain unique characteristics which we we'll call their talent. So your date of birth gives direction to the soul. It gives a trajectory that because you were born on this particular day, this is the trajectory you are supposed to work on. These are the things you like. These are the things you attract to yourself. Let me ask this. Seminim, seminim. What does this stop? What I say, say minimum. This is my path. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is my path. Menamso. Minimum. What would it change? And if I don't know, what would it change? Oh, it's a good question. The thing is, if you know, then first of all, you get to understand why the things that happen to you happen to you. Why you, you are attracted to certain things. It will also prevent you from being a drifter. As in, you, you are drifting, just like a piece of wood on the, on the sea or on the river. It goes left. It, it just moves with the current. You are just drifting through life. So if you, if you are drifting through life, there's no direction for you. Everything goes, which is not supposed to be so. Like I said, our date of birth gives a trajectory to the soul that you, you are supposed to walk on this trajectory. Okay, so those who don't know their date of birth, what happens to them? Well, nothing actually happens to them. So, you how important it. is this? Yes. If they don't know their date of birth and they will still go through life and nothing will happen to them. Because they don't know their date of birth to search and they will still go through life. So, how important is this? I've, I've had instances where I've uh, spoken to people or I've met people who want me to go over their names and date of birth. And a person tells me that, oh, uh, my mother doesn't remember the actual date. So even the date on my Ghana card is not my actual date. I said, okay, let, let's, let's put it that we, we cannot use that one. The date on your Ghana card, we can't use it. So we we'll use your name. So you use the person's name. That's what I'm saying that right now, you see, 
I want to know the importance of this because the person doesn't know his date of birth. Mm -hmm. And Onima, who will be before flow to use, and Nini Padabe cost still lie or back on a life so. And to me, be success will be unconscious. We now one could use Sunni Dia Mane Abrabobia. What happens to that person if the person can lead the life without knowing the star? Nini Dia, I won't know the Niakeka Kamwa. Then what import? I want you to tell me how important this is. I'm asking you this question because this thing has caused a lot of problems to people. That's why I want to know what, how important because uh, me need me date of birth. Now me back. Now me need me date of birth. Until birth me you use me name. Eddie Ashe Bibi a mami. Then now they will fast will be any so because me need me date of birth. Uh, I can still go through life. Until me and me need me date of birth. Now me so man ko shishe muno. I'm the same as Obi on his own him the date of birth and I can still go through life. So how important uh, importance being a day we a here say yen so say. Well. Like I said, if you know your date of birth, then you will actually know why the things that happen to you are happening. Why you act in a particular way. Why you like certain things. Why you do not like certain things. Your date of birth gives half of your personality. It shapes half of your personality. Your name completes the other half. So if I know your name and date of birth, I have a clear mental picture of who you are. As in, are you quick-tempered? Is he shy? Is he afraid? Is he bold? Is he, uh, is he religious or is not religious? That way, it helps you in, 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 in my way, or in, it helps me to know who I'm dealing with. For example, when I meet people for the first time, you know, it's, for the first time, it's easy for people to know people's names, but not their date of birth. So when I ask you, what's your name? Then you mention your name to me. I just sit down, write your name down, then I work it out. Through your name, I get to know half of your personality. We understand this. What I'm asking is, I did hear by name here. My brother from Nukrasa. Hear by name here. I say, me, me, I mean, importance by my own who importance the womb because we need the date of birth. No, but said the outcome. But me go through life. With okay, let's assume. My date of birth is communicating this, mm -hmm. and my name is also communicating this. Different things. Yeah. You understand? The effect is that there are instances where the person's name and date of birth, and they are, they are not really compatible. What I mean by that is that we have different stars and planets out there. Some of the stars are direct opposite of others. So if the name is not compatible with the date of birth, it tends to cause a lot of problems in a person's life. There are instances where now God God is both positive and negative. There are instances whereby the person has a collection of negative stars. What will happen is that the person's life will be is either arriving too early or is he that arriving too late most of the time? He doesn't understand why things that others may get on the first trial, he has to go three, four, five times before he gets it. The person's life becomes one whole tragedy. Most of the, time. Say, the question I'm asking mm -hmm. is that let's assume that media mina boni na semi. La pony on air rain, I'm about me, Mumma, see you and go you. Muka is a la pony or guy, no, say, and go for two, three arrows. I dare bet you, I'm a so and go, and by Jimmy Beauty, I boss. If I use more than three any more, mammy. You're watching the biggest. The question I'm asking is this, so very simple. Let's assume, say, me, me date of bet, na I dear woman, oh, or say, me jumpy, three big gutters. Three big gutters now me jump in. Say man, she here me to me at the back. Last one. Let's assume. Say this is what my date of birth is saying about me. I'm just illustrating. Mm -hmm. And then my name Grace is also saying that my mama get away energy to jump eight gutters. What you say? And now so say mama the energy he should not go close to gutter. So say my date of birth is saying that I should jump three gutters. My name so so say and so say me go close to gutter. What happens? Meaning, meaning, I may jump pickle. 
Once I can't tell me, say, when you now, it's still a hot for me to jump because it's my life. And to me, be said, until no importance, bang the way you move. Do you get it? I didn't change this, Nede Beba. Because you just want me to know, say, this is what is ahead of you. Okay? It be a woe, nine bebu at 90. Do you get it? No, it's actually not. No, no, I'm just illustrating. I'm just illustrating. Okay. I'm giving you the worst scenario. And what can be done? So who read the mammy nami who are semi nine bebu at ninety? Would they stop the nine bebu? No. Do you get the question? Yeah. Do Do you get me? I get you. Uh huh. You know, me per se me who here and here because it is causing problems. Well, like I said, the human body, we are all under the influence of these planets and stars. They are sending out their uh, 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 vibration to us. Uh, and we are receiving them now based on the stars and, and what's the name planet you come under it will urge you to we say impel you to go in a particular direction as in there is somebody who is extremely bold but quick tempered it's energy what you do with that energy is totally up to you what I mean by uh, totally up to you, for somebody, that energy gives him the drive for anything which is physical. So you see a lot of athletes having that strong energy to be able to do the kind of things that they do. That is the positive side. But if you decide to use the negative aspect of that particular energy, people only know you as the quarrelsome man, always looking for trouble, always fighting. You get what I'm driving at? It's not necessarily about telling you that, oh, when you are this age, your leg, or oh, no, 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 no. That is, it is only about helping you to understand why you are the way you are. Okay. So this stars, mm -hmm. this star system thing, and this astrology thing, we have plants and, and anim uh, plants and animals. Mm -hmm. We are part of the animals. Man is an animal. Yes. The human animal. Uh huh. So maybe some people say, "Or tree on anka, or sebo, any kokrodo." Now, I am worried. No. What has it got to do with the stars, including you? Add the celestial beings, and even add the rivers, add the trees, add the deities, add the mountains. What connection are they also having in this date of birth and this uh, naming thing? Do you get me? A den connection or more, quite a new moon in other crow. In Timuano, a den connection or more ready or moon that, like, do you get what I'm saying? Well, in the case of animals, first of all, I can't talk much for animals because I'm not one of them or the lower animals. We are, we are, we are fast. <laughs> yeah, we, no, no, yes, no, no. we are the same yeah. other comment. But if you notice, when animals are moving, they move in a pattern, you can tell clearly which one of them is their leader or who is leading the pack among even animals. Mm. Now, one other thing uh, I want to emphasize on. The question is how I'm, I'm talking about the stars and planets sending their energy vibration towards the earth. The question, how do we receive it? How do we receive the energy vibration? You see, your topic is what is your date of birth? birth. A name saying about you. So date of birth, Animals also have the same date of birth. They are also and born. And when the kind of date of birth, uh, like, you can't do anything about it. On one said, you can use the name to find information about the person. Okay? Yes. The next one said, oh, oh, Patrick said, say, you're seeking knowledge from heavens and not from the stars. And I mean, say, so we and the animals, no. Almost some date of birth, no, does it have anything to do with these stars? And now, this star, uh, you start Animals reading. Animals are born. Animals are born, yes. so they also have date of birth. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Until the Amibi Sani says, a see, I a moano, a monk or this star, they are there. Animals, they it is, name them, they are there. Yen, I hear reading um, a, a date of birth. Now, let me be so saying, stars, no, any, any influence on them, and it will have, but I cannot speak much about okay, it. Okay, that's all right. So your topic is, what is your date of birth and name saying about you? Please take us through. Yeah. When a child is born, you notice, or if you observe, on top of the child's head, see there's a spot on top of the head. And as the child is breathing, 
it goes up and down, up and down, if you observe. Now, that particular spot on the child's head is called the crown. The crown is an energy center, among other things. It does several other functions. But limiting it to what we are talking about, this is an energy center. It is what connects mankind to the greater universe. It's everything in nature is interconnected. Everything in nature is interconnected. There is no difference between you and I, the trees, the plants, the rivers. and The very thing that God Almighty used in creating you and I is the same thing he used in creating the other celestial bodies. That's why you notice that within the earth, there is all kinds of minerals, phosphorus, magnesium, aluminum, they are all there. When the, your blood, is also, blood sample is also taken, they can deduce all the elements which is within the earth inside your blood and all over. So there is interconnection between the whole of creation. It's as simple as, it, it works like the way even human beings within our limitedness, we are able to ne create a network where we network everything. You network, we have uh, small, small networks in our offices. Then we create bigger networks, which we call the internet. Networking millions of computers all over the world. So even with our limitlessness, we have the, the desire to network things. How much more the creator? In his infinite wisdom, the creator networks the whole of his creation. I.e. mankind, because man is from the earth, his network to the earth and to the greater universe to all the planets and stars, and it's all on the crown. From it, we receive the energy vibration from the various stars and planets. So when I go through your name and date of birth, what comes out is the various planets and stars. OK, so today is 8. The person is born on the 8. First of all, you need to understand what a number is. You are born on the 8. What is a number? A number simply is the energy vibration coming from a planet or a star. That is what a number is. Numbers were not created by man. We only discovered them. Go back into the creation story. It's a God created. There cannot be creation without numbers. Because you need to measure. Everything in this studio, everything in life is measured. And you cannot measure anything without numbers. So that's... Numbers hold the entire universe. So to understand the energy vibration, because like I said, every number represents a particular planet or star. So today is being eight. It's a number. But behind it is the energy vibration of the planet Saturn. So you need to, okay, what are the characteristics of this planet? So once you can deduce the, the, deduce the characteristics of that particular planet, we get to know that, okay, all children who are born on today are Saturnian borns. They come under the vibration of the planet Saturn, 8, 17, 26. And they'll act out the qualities of that particular planet. That is the premise. Those who are born on the first, every number, like I said, represent the energy from a particular, uh, what's the name, planet or celestial body. Number one denotes the sun. So all people who are one born, either first, tenth, 28, they come under the control of the sun and they will act out the characteristics of the, the sun in their life. They will, because they were born on that particular day, the characteristics will manifest in, in them. From reading the person's name, you get to know which planets are involved. Then you get to deduce how the person, why the person is moving towards a particular, why the person like these particular things or hate these particular things. Your date of birth give direction to your soul. Whilst your name acts as a vehicle to carry you on that direction. There are some people, people for example, people who are born on the 7th, 7, 16, 25, they are the spiritual masters. By virtue of the fact that they are born on that particular, they have a great attachment to, to spirituality or religion. And do as they grow, life will continue pushing them in ways for them to go into that particular field. Whether they know or not. Whether they know or not, 
within them they'll have that strong inclination okay. to go right. in a particular direction okay and also from your name you can deliberately move somebody to a particular direction for example i've had instances where i've met parents who tell me that i want my child to be religious so i'll go through your name from the name if well the other the, the name the person is not going to be religious or has no inclination towards religion but we can structure the name in such a way that we'll no, so long as that child is bearing the name and when i say name i'm not talking about your calling name maybe you're called john not i'm talking about your full name the full name on your Ghana card, on your NHIS date, uh, date of birth, sorry, uh, birth certificate. That is the name. name. Your name is so important. It, car it moves you. you. You notice that wherever you are, if you are in an open space, let's say an airport or, or uh, a hospital, and somebody mentions your name, your heart beats twice. You turn towards the direction of that sound because you identify yourself with that particular sound. So long as you identify yourself with that particular sound, its impact will bear upon you, both positive and negative. I'm coming on. Both positive and negative. You are not born with your name yes. as a person. Okay? So when you are born, and they call you by the name they are calling you, but you won't turn until for months, when a baby is born today, and you give it a name, Grace, you will call the baby Grace, Grace. It will not react or turn. Until you mention the name, mention, we give names to dogs and everything. My little girl has a dog called Boba. When they brought the, uh, the uh, puppy, uh, mama friend saying, Pudu to the, into the house. When you call Boba, not until, because I didn't. So we call Boba, Boba, Boba. Now when you say Bo, no, Janina no, or Bounce. So names are things that we come to this life to acquire. Just like when you are a or a woman, but what you are saying, you are saying, you are you are saying, 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 you are you are saying, you are you are saying, 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 you are any a dinner, me ma me de ma me no. Which one is stronger, me papa de ma me no? Yeah, I can for a a you for ne to the fathers ne to the. If you you recall, I said that your date of birth gives a trajectory to the soul that you are supposed to go on this particular direction. Your name acts as a vehicle to carry you to that direction. So which one is stronger? That's the question. They work. The both of them are energy. And they work in tandem, hand in hand, to move you in that direction. But there are instances, like you said, a name is sound. A sound. When a child reaches the age of reasoning, once you make that sound, that child will turn towards the direction of you. So, so long as you affirm that sound, and if you notice, throughout history, we have evolved different forms of naming things. For example, if you go to the scriptures, the Bible, the Quran, they have one word names. So, Adam, Eve, Abraham, so on and so forth. One word names in most of the scriptures. Although, even in this current dispensation, there are some, some countries like Indonesia. You go to Indonesia, in the island, on the island of Java, there are people who still have one word names. For example, the former president of Indonesia, Suharto, that's his name. There's one word name. But over time, we have evolved a system whereby, right now, if a policeman stops and asks you, where's your license? And you produce a license that has only one word name, you have to go to the station to explain. Because we have evolved a system whereby we have your calling name and then your surname. So because you are firm, for example, if there are two children in a class, maybe one is called John Apia, the other one is called John Mensa. When they are, the teacher is man can register. When John Apia is mentioned, the one who bears that sound will own up, yes, sir, or yes, madam. So, so long as you affirm that particular sound, which you call your name, its impact will bear upon you, both positive and negative. So, what I'm trying to draw, uh, draw your attention to is that we don't choose our date of birth, but we choose our names. We don't. 
I mean the society. Society chooses the name, either your family, or yeah, usually your family choose the name for you. And there are instances where people even grow up and then they change their name. So long as you affirm that particular sound, then there are also people who take nicknames. And I've come to there's instances where I go to somebody's nickname, and it's his nickname that is pushing him to do what he's doing. Because the person thinks that, oh, I just I went to SS and then somebody gave me an name and I took it. Yes, you took it. But so long as you are affirming it, what will happen is that his birth name, the energy vibration of his birth name will be constantly there because he is bearing it on his official documentation. Then the nickname, for example, these uh, musicians and actors, they all pick nicknames. So your nickname builds another layer, energy vibration, on top of your nickname, on, on top of your birth name. So the person will be having overlapping energy vibrations, one from his birth name, the other from his nickname. And the star is also part. Uh, and, and what happens is that both will be moving. For example, the current Speaker of Parliament, his common name is Abang Bagben. But if I'm doing a reading of the uh, Honorable, what's the name, uh, Speaker of Parliament, I'll have to use his name, Abang Bagwin, separate, write it down separately. Mm -hmm. Then his full name, Abang Kisford Sumana Bagwin, separately, and then work it out. Because over the years, he has created two distinct uh, energies. But Abang uh, Kinsman Sumana Bagwin, Kinsford Sumana Bagwin, Kinsford Sumana Bagwin, is the same as Abang Bagwin? No, they are not the same. He has, over the years... What's it called? Yes, it matters. Mm. Boy, yeah. And the Stone Boy is where? Yeah, so for somebody like Stone Boy, uh -huh. you have to use his nickname, Stone Boy, uh -huh. and then his birth name, Livingston, Setekla, Eche, or whatever. Uh -huh. So that is what people are doing, whether it's Shatawale or the rest. Uh -huh. Should we give you a blackboard? So you tell us what's happening to them. What I, what I can tell you, well, what I can tell you, uh -huh. no, I don't have the permission to speak concerning these particular stars in public. But what I can tell you is that they are... Are they, are they going to die? Oh, no, no, I no, 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 I can bet my last CD that before all, ever, before all ends with them, before um, all and they go through everything, most of them, the likes of, um, they are likely to drop it all and then go into spirituality. I will not be surprised. The likes of, shall I? Yeah. The likes of um, Akwambo, I believe I got his name right. Um, Sakodie, Shatawale, and then Kofi Kinata. These four. I remember one time I just sent a message to one of my friends that these guys, before all, and s all is said and done, do abandon everything and go into spirituality. Oh well, that, wait. That's a powerful thing. It's a good thing. That's what I want to talk about. Tell me. The reason why Member I'm saying that Nabotre, is they will go into spirituality. Yeah. I thank God because that's what I represent. I am the Avishinia who come. But tell me, are they going to be pastors, uh, imams, mualims, or what? I, I, you know, in, what when else you, you are looking at? spirituality, what I mean by explain. I look at uh, the, old, the old stars uh -huh. who have passed. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I remember I went through the names of somebody like uh, um, Akwesia Ampofweje. Mm -hmm. He's long and gone. And from his name, he was a very religious man. And he took expression in his songs. Somebody like KK Kabobo. I remember uh, recently, or a couple of months ago, when I heard he's dead, I decided to take his full name, and then his short name, KK Kabobo. Also, also, okay. His short name is actually moving him into spirituality. And then another person, Prince Yorson. The man who was called uh, Wachi, 
the actor. Oh no, 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 no. I'm I'm only saying that. If you look at I was one away No. There spirituality. spirituality which way? So walk on religion ma ma block one fast. Where are they going to go? Is it going to be like an enlightened being or he's going to be a mualib? Tell me. I want to know. It is my interest. Uh, Listen, um, tell me. Uh, tell me where are they are going to go? I want to know. And I will catch at our right. That 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 man, where is he going to go? I know as for him, he is going to call aliens and open aliens church up there. <laughs> You are watching the biggest. Why? Anything bad we will not talk about yes. here, but anything good we talk about here to make history. If they will, they will come into spirituality. It, that's that's a plus. That's that's an, an an awesome issue. Do you know how happy I am if they will become spiritual? But tell me, don't come and tell them they will become walims no, and the, pastors. No, the, the the fact of the matter is, uh -huh. I told you that the first thing is that there are certain people who because of their date of birth, they are spiritual masters. Okay. Now, that spiritual master will take the form of the religion the person finds himself in. Abusia, so we're taking notice of these people. Yeah, watch your motor. Ni wukura amontu wa sonse. Na monse bebi yomba kwa kwa wye. Na monko so ni teju yemu. Aha, yanka bibi ya fri. Yeah. So, what happened is that, because some people are born on certain days, for example, seven bonds, natural spiritual masters the person will then that spirituality will take the shape and form of the religion the person finds himself in so if the person happens to be in a christian setting naturally to take the the shape of his strong attachment to christianity and if it's a muslim community <laughs> the same thing <laughs> yes so and i've come to realize there are certain big pastors certain big imams certain uh big uh, wasn't it? even hindus and they share the same or similar stars and they are all doing the same thing yo nti sesi e no you who will start and then they lead you who can't deny how they can you know will pull you back or help you there it's am i correct yes that your date of birth gives trajectory to the soul mm -hmm. whilst your name Acts as a vehicle to carry exactly you. Exactly what direction. I'm saying. Yes. So right now, as are you, where are you from? You are Ghanaian, right? Ghanaian. From. From uh, Gamashi. Gamashi here. Yeah. So you know Gamashi people. <laughs> you have your name before you were born. The firstborns have a name. Meboa. If you were male, you have your name already. Nya yeah. na yetu yehudi. Okay. So what can we do about this? The reason why, or oh, um, amongst others. Why? Um, because I had this discussion with several people, and they, these most often than not, we are sort of gambling with the names. We give names to people without knowing the influence is going to have over them. Usually, we know the meaning. We know that oh, this name means this. This name means that. But when it comes to the overall influence, we don't know. And I want us to deliberate, be deliberate about it. Because I've had the, what was the name, the opportunity to deliberately help parents in particular with the name they give to their children. So someone will say, well, I want my child. There was one time one lady, she called me and she was complaining that her daughter, 13 years old, she can't get there. She's always going out. Right now, going to that's what I'm telling you. If you are from Pram Pram, mm -hmm. You know that when you give birth to the first one, it's going to be tete or the kike kan. You get me? Yeah. So I'm asking what can be done about this. You get it? Your way your culture. Name no uni akani bi awu na oye be ma. Wo de to papa. Ebi mo kura wo ba kra mo still omo de to om papa. Nti na ye wo ampoma, na ye wo ampoma. What am I say? Nya yen na ye ma din. Sebe sebe wo ma me kura ma udin ese uni papa nti na ma me ama udin. And then any idea about the name, but you have to talk about anything. So me beside the fact that we have our culture and this name thing, and say, see, this is what you are teaching us. What can we do about it? 
We can't change our culture. No, I'm not asking us to change our culture. Saying our, our the name, no. the name. Edino. I'm not saying say we should drop our local uh, Edino. No, I'm not saying mm -hmm. that at all. All I'm trying to say is that, for example, everybody knows that Ajua is a Monday born. Is a, it's okay. Or, or I mean, I mean, I may be a friend or a friend say, Kui Kui Intimi Deno, but they may ban a tunnel. That is it. But forgetting that, you are going to add your surname. So if, let's say, you are someone, so I call another friend or uh, Kwekua someone. You get what I'm driving mm -hmm. at? Or maybe you're going to add another name to it, make it a three-word name. So I'm not saying that we should drop uh, the, what's the name, the names we give to our children. No. Mm -hmm. All I'm trying to say is that we should be more deliberate about it, as in which direction. You and I will agree that most of people who succeed in life are people who, from an early age, society, the family, help them to identify what they want to do with their life. And they threw themselves into it. So, say, I want my child to go into business. I want my child to be a pastor or an imam, whatever it is. I want my child to go into this particular direction. Identify it and throw that child into it early. That way, by the time that child, by the time you are 21, 25, you should be clear in your mind Ca the direction you are going. Catch them young. But most often, I know we are drifters. Mm -hmm. We are drifting. Okay. My last question, then you give your advice to the public. Right now, um, the, the names, you have explained the names. What I want to ask is that the names we get from the religious sect, like Mohammed, uh, Salifu, Sharifa, then when you come to Christianity, John, Paul, does it also have this kind of drifting stuff against us? Yeah, so long as you, you affirm a particular sound, which you call your name, its impact will bear upon you. Simple. Its impact will bear upon you. Baby, I never have a cry. You didn't know. Yeah, your local names. No, we couldn't have what they. No one out there by. Any afraid with fear. No, still it impacts you. That's what I'm saying. Now, so we are looking for solution. We are seeing the problem, but we can't talk about the problem without solution. Okay, so where we can't do anything about it was where I wanted you to go. Like you were born on Sunday, which you move time, which you see, and I also say akwesi. Okay, and now oh papa the Roberto Aida ne mami, and now ne papa. And you say friend akwesi ampoma, you are called akwesi ampoma. You the child cannot do anything about it. Uti anko ye ye na anko ye Christo ni a friend Paul akwesi ampoma. So I don't know. I own to me is a cow also. And then people say, "Me, say if there is anything we can do to solve those problems." Well, first of all, we should also bear in mind that it's not completely true that you can't do anything about it. People deliberately change their names, yes, mm. based on several circumstances. Your last words, advice, three good advice that you think people should listen to this. Funny, so be not in we na to ha sesia asama wo kan what is your date of birth a name saying about you sesia no de ne we ato wa the things they should not try three things when you are done add your social media handles to it yeah the fact of the matter is that our names the names we bear do have an a profound influence on our lives they move us or impel us to go into particular directions and one thing I want all of us to be clear about this is that we should be more deliberate in naming our children. And we also should try to find out the names we have, the influence that it is having upon us or the direction that it is, it is pushing us through so that we do not become drifters. And then finally, my, on, when you go to, on social media, my on, you can email me, Adam Sahija 32, or you can WhatsApp or call me 0543-221051. We can either WhatsApp me or call me, and I can have a discussion with you. We have to be deliberate. Move, perhaps those of us who are old, we think that there's nothing we can do about it, but it's, it's not true. People can change their names at any time, and by changing your name, you are changing your cosmic influence. You, begin, you are inviting. And then other thing, one other thing before. Usually when women marry, 
especially among the Christian community, they take their husband's name, add to their names. What you do not know is that you bore a particular name for a couple of years. Now you have added your husband's name to it. What you are doing is that over the years, over a couple of years, you are inviting another layer of cosmic influence. You start, if you speak to any Christian woman who has gotten married after three to five years and has adopted a husband's name, she will tell you that, she, she, she can't explain, but she will tell you, marriage has changed me. Things I used to do are no longer doing it because she has altered the cosmic. And sometimes when the influence is too vast, it will get to a, a couple of years, the husband will say, no, you are no longer the woman I married. The reason being that she has altered the cosmic influence over her life. She's invited new things into her life. So we have to be very deliberate about naming our children and equally the names we bear. Okay. Baby son say names and can say you're recognized in the realms of the spirit. Anna. Yes, because but finally our time is done. So uh, you have given your social media handles yeah. and all that. And uh, thank you so much for coming. We do appreciate you. And your mom, my worry, I 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 worry, I